This one here is uh, very, very exciting. We're at a 15 lap superbike race here in the second one of the weekend. The first one today, and number one defending New Zealand superbike champion on pole. He's on lap record pace when we qualified. Unfortunately, a bit of a mechanical hiccup yesterday in the DNF, so drama in the championship already. We've got a uh, 12 race, four round championship, and uh, he'll be desperate to try and get some points. We've got uh, inside of him, Damon Rees. He was on fire for the first two rounds of the series last year before he went to the UK and uh, showed us how good he was. He is uh, the Grand Prix champion from last year, so he uh, knows his way around this place. Mitchell Rees, uh, already more points uh, yesterday than he got all weekend here at Ruapuna in round one last year, so uh, he's doing well. And Chopper Frost on uh, the outside of row one. He'll be one to watch as well. Uh, everything's starting to click into place for him. We've got uh, a star-studded field, and when the lights go out, we're going to go racing here. We've got a 15 inch super race. Well, let's start with job so we're keeping an eye on this one here into turn number one is the 92 team Rees racing out who's going to dive up into second place it's a good move there so uh, this is all on here but two blue crew Yamaha's uh, hammer and tongs there uh, battling it out as we see them down the liquid molly straight and a beautiful sunny day here in the garden city but it's the 92 demon damo Rees. he's flying uh, down into what you remark the awesome left hand hairpin here uh, these guys are coming alive great to have 18 superbikes out on track we've got superbike b as well we'll talk about that during the race but uh, at the moment, the Premier boys uh, certainly flying. Damon Rees exactly what he needed to do. He's out in front and uh, now he can manage this race. as a long 15 lap, so he's got to be careful on their tyres uh, as uh, this heat starts getting into them. Uh, we've got a shocker start from Mitchell Rees. He's back there in about 7th uh, or 8th place. Plenty of work to do for him, uh, but uh, 15 laps to do it. So let's look at this one here. Uh, we've got uh, all on here. Damon Rees leading them uh, out of the carousel and into uh, the Southern South. Producers, a good start from Jake Lewis. He's uh, doing a good job with uh, uh, Dan met him up there as well. A uh, couple of Suzuki boys going at it. So Scotty Moyer on the new tyre package this year. Uh, it be interesting to see uh, what he can muster up here as he's uh, ahead of Sloan, Chopper Frost in the uh, Aeon Dipper, Mitchell Rees, and then Dan met him. So uh, this one's all on. We've got uh, a good start as well from the number 27 of David Hall. Ready at our uh, premier class as we head uh, down the front straight for the first of 15 times that it's Demon Damo Rees ahead of the two way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Superbike champion uh, just runs in, squares the corner up, gets inside. So we'll change the second position. It's now with Al Hoogie, and he's after Damon Rees already. They were on lap record pace when they qualified. And uh, this one here is uh, already with the lap record holder out in front. Uh, Damon Rees, uh, this one's going to be all on. Look at Al Hoogie already on the back wheel of him. This is going to be absolutely tantalizing. Uh, good crowd coming in here at Mike Perry Motorsport Park as well. Uh, and going to be treated here. We've got a 15 lap Superbike race, race two for them of the weekend. Two, three, two. There you seven that we've got in front, similar number to what we had in that Axis Man 250 reduction. How good is this to see? Tight bunch of these uh, people. And as Brad said, we've got a Superbike B in here as well, a second uh, group. But I'll tell you what, Superbike B riders yesterday, like Heath Boddick, and not lapped, not lapped. So these guys, it's not as if they're slow, they're just not, they're just not quite there. They're, they're a bit like the reserve bench for the uh, All Blacks, if you get the idea. Not quite there, but almost still the pinnacle of New Zealand riding. People like Heath Boddicker, winner of the Munro Family Trophy, is the most outstanding competitor at the Burt Munro. He'll be back for that event uh, coming up next month, a legendary event on the New Zealand uh, motorcycle calendar. I hope to see you there as we uh, bring the 15th edition to you in the beautiful city of uh, Invercargill. But back to our racing here at the moment. The awesome Demon Damo he'd broken out. You saw that little buffer that he got earlier on. But once we saw Al Hoogie getting past his teammate Jake Lewis, it was all on. He's This one here, so making a real statement on this blood and blood track here at Mike Perry Motorsport Park. Jake Lewis uh, still in third place, but under a lot of pressure. That's Scotty Moy going to have a look up the uh, outside of the uh, Euromark hairpin. Uh, it's a long way to go around there. It's uh, a very tight left-hander and uh, not a very wide exit, so a good place for a block pass move, so not around the outside. We've got Sloan Chopper Frost on the TSS motorcycle Suzuki. Uh, he's running fifth place ahead of uh, Mitchell Rees, who uh, didn't get the start he wanted. He's back in sixth place. Plenty of work to do. And then we go back to uh, a former New Zealand Superbike champion back there in seventh place, Daniel Medham, on the Coleman Suzuki there. So this is all on, and already about a five-bike length of Andy Al, who you're not mucking around here at the moment. Two laps into this one, and he is flying. 
uh, into the Southern Salvage S's on the Blue Crew Yamaha. Uh, he's done a lot of laps around this track. He's a former 600 uh, uh, Supersport champion. He's uh, the defending Superbike champion as well, and he is going to feel pretty good out there at the moment. Certainly a big uh, battle on for sure. Look at that uh, a run at the moment. A slight mistake made by Demon Damo. So he's let the gap open to Al Hoogie. Al with the advantage. The local man on the local track hasn't got the number one on his bike because it's the easiest number. He's got it because he deserves it. He won it and uh, the truly at the TT at Hampton Downs. So Mark, this fantastic hairpin, this tight right hand, one of the tightest corners you'll find on a race circuit in New Zealand. Look at that, on the complete 180, around the top. Oh, for somebody who lives in place, that might have lost two of them. One of those riders back there, who was that uh, so bad luck? Was that Scotty? Was no, it Scott? Jake, Jake Lewis oh, just Jake. outbraked himself into the left hand of there and uh, gives up two positions. So uh, uh, good news for the Suzuki boys. They've gone uh, up two positions, uh, both Scotty Moyer and Sloan Frost. So uh, third and fourth now for them. And now it's brought uh, Mitchell Rees on the back of uh, Jake as well. So uh, Jake's going to have to be careful. Uh, going from third to uh, fifth already and under pressure for sixth place. So keep an eye on this one here. Uh, we're a six tenths of a second off lap record pace. And uh, the two out in the front are going at it at the moment. Then we go back uh, a few positions uh, to uh, a Suzuki 3-4 uh, and then into Jake Lewis and Mitchell Reese. So uh, Mitchell desperate to try and get a move done on Jake. They're out of the Aeon Dipper at the moment and uh, just climbing on the back wheel. Gets good drive out of there and having a look in the turn 10 sweeper here at uh, Mike Perry Motorsport Park. This is absolutely alive here at the moment. We've still got a massive 11 laps to go when we cross the line and uh, the heat certainly get into this track. We're going to keep an eye on this one. We are going lap record hunting with David Reese. It's the first Seven five one, so uh, uh, just still that six tenths of a second off the lap record from last year. Uh, it's all on here. Uh, Al Hoogie leads. David Reese. Then we go back to uh, Scotty Moyer, Sloan Frost, Jake Lewis, and Mitch Rees. Mitch still can't find a way through. Uh, they're heading into uh, the Icon corner now. Cool little sweeping left hand. Uh, there's a big curve on the apex, so uh, uh, careful on there. We've got Mitch Rees going to look around the outside, but it's a very long way to go around there. Uh, Stephen gets some good drive here and have the inside line. Uh, good line from Jake Lewis. Just sort of uh, block the line on exit. It is a corner where you can block that uh, exit line, and uh, that uh, little corner there better for the podium. Uh, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. There's not much in it at the moment because they've caught right up to the back of Sloan Frost. So uh, this one coming alive. We've got uh, uh, Al Hoogie, the number one on the bike. He's flying at the moment. Damon Rees, the fastest man on track that last time around, but only by six one hundredths of a second. And then go back to uh, this one here with uh, Sloan. Uh, just uh, trying to uh, hide off these guys here. Jake Lewis goes in a bit hot into uh, the Southern Salvage left-hander. This is all on here. These guys are five of the best New Zealand's got to offer. And uh, we're flying at the moment into the Aeon Dipper. Uh, we're going to fly through these ones here. We've still got 10 laps to go. Al Hoogie uh, out of the turn 10 sweeper. This uh, trainer behind, we can't take our eyes off this. is flying uh, action thick and fast from our uh, underground brown round one of the New Zealand Superbike Championships. And it's such a spectacle here. Mike Perry Motorsport Park to see these guys go. Uh, no change to the fastest lap of the race. It's still with Damon Rees, a 129.7 from last time. Uh, there we go down, catching the update there. It's uh, still Al Hoogie, hit a Damon Rees, Scotty Moyer, Sloan Frost, and we go to Jake Lewis, and Mitch Rees, there we go. Hit off David Hall, that's your top, but no one at the moment. Jaden Carrick running out of our top 10, and a big brave shout out there to Richie Devon, who had a big crash here yesterday. He's out in about 11th place at the moment and uh, had to be uh, almost helped onto his bike for the warm-up session this morning. So a very courageous effort. He's got a 15-lapper uh, this uh, morning and he's got the big 16-lap Grand Prix race to get through today. So uh, he will be uh, very, very uh, sore and having to dig deep for this one. So a shout-out to the man in the barracks bar, uh, Team Suzuki Machine out there in 11th place at the moment. I, so. get, I get the idea he might have been pulling out Brad as well, so uh, that would not surprise me at all. He was in some pain today. And uh, those things that, uh, hey, it's a whole new class, man. Set the super bikes up to set them from 600s is a huge step, so congratulations for the way he's taken on. He started so aggressively yesterday. Unfortunately, the off out of the dipper, and it has been a setback for him. Want to do a shout out for our super bike bees in there. Lee Munro, along with uh, Johnny Lewis back there, the boys on the Ducatis, uh, to just give you in there the 1103 and the 1290, that big 1290 of uh, uh, Lee Munro, 
beautiful machine, but I can tell you Heath Potica uh, is there with uh, Aaron Scott in front of him and Warren Hudson behind him. So well done to our Superbike Bs, wouldn't have the quality. See, these guys are not being lapped in the field. They're still awesome riders, not quite at the top end of the calibre that we've got for the others. So uh, it's the Al Hoogie and uh, Damon Rees uh, Super Show going on. Out there. And keen to look out for that one. Changes going on there. Mitch has moved up. Mitch is there. Jake has gone back to fit. But Sloan, in fact, Sloan's dropped two. Sloan's dropped two in there. So that now puts Mitch Rees on attack. He's out after uh, Scotty Moyer, who's been the one in third place holding on the back of that uh, junior out in front. So great to watch him. What about that for the manufacturers? That is cool to see. So there you've got it. You've got the Yamaha, you've got the Honda, you've got the Suzuki in there, well set up. So manufacturers going for it. And remember, of course, Jaden Hassan in there, way back in 10th place on that beautiful BMW S1000RR. Shout out to M1. And Moggy Motors will bring us another brand. And when you take the Aprilias, you take the Ducatis, the world's best motorcycles right here, Brad, for Avon City Superbikes. Yeah, this is brilliant stuff. We've got uh, nine laps to go on this one still. It's still Al Hoogie ahead of Damon Rees, but uh, hasn't been able to shake him. So that's uh, out of the carousel at the moment, but the uh, battle for the podium now, red hot. Scotty Moyer's in a lot of trouble now. He's got a rampant Mitchell Rees right on the back wheel. He's going to pull up uh, almost alongside and have a look up southern south. He's not quite close enough there, uh, but he's going to follow him through there. He was way back in about 6th or 7th place on lap number 1 and now like to be dicing it out for the podium. Mitchell Rees dives up the inside. What a move. Just late breaks into the dipper. And uh, that is a textbook move from mighty Mitchell Rees. So it uh, makes it a 2-3 for Team Rees Honda. And uh, that will put uh, Scotty Moyer now in 4th place ahead of Jake Lewis. So uh, keep an eye on that one because Jake Lewis, uh, this is his hometown as well. He's done a lot of laps around here. He's a former 600 Sportsport champion as well. Uh, so uh, this is going to feel pretty good. Uh, we've got a four-way fight for the He's got to be feeling good about that one there. We're still lap record hunting, but no change. It's still a 29-7. Uh, the fastest lap of the race that was back on lap number three from David Rees. And uh, uh, less than a second in that gate, one and two. So 0.4 of a second when they crossed the line. It was 0.5 the lap before. And uh, having a look at that, it's a bit for the podium in behind. Uh, Scotty Moyer certainly not uh, going to have it. Zone way there, Jake Lewis all over the back of him. We've got uh, touring and throwing out the front. Al Hoogie under a lot of pressure from Damon Rees, and this one here is all on. So we've still got a massive uh, seven and a half laps left, uh, and the battle for the lead has just uh, started to get really, really hot. They were almost matched for pace last time. But, uh, you can sense Damon Rees, he's got all that BSB Superstock 1000 experience from last year, uh, and now uh, business end of the race is about half distance. Uh, pulling the hammer down, he's going to go for it here. This is going to be all on. All right, luck for these kind of battles, and you saw Demon Damo had a go there up on your uh, Euromark, wanted to squeeze through, couldn't quite do it. Ended up by overshooting slightly, but hey, nothing wrong with that, because uh, nothing venture, nothing gain. Always oh, trying to brother Mitch show, trying to brother Mitch show. Mitch got away with it to go through on Scotty Moyer. He's trying to, oh, putting all the pressure on the number one. He's the number one with the plate, number one in the race. Of course, had a DNF, did not finish here yesterday through mechanical problems, and wow, he needs every bit of the points he's going to get. 25 allocated for the win, 20 for the second place. Doesn't matter really so much, uh, those, uh, those points, but more than points importantly, getting uh, points that he uh, didn't get yesterday, so he's beyond the back foot. And he wants to warm up, he wants that GP title coming up here later in the race. Of the nine races last year, he only won two races in the entire title, but he won the two that counted. He won the GP title, he won the TT at the end, so he effectively won race, and won race nine to win the overall. That's how close the whole series was here last year, and he's proving it again with some consistency, although a lack of it from the first motor yesterday. Bring it on with ICOM, down to Euromark, down to that hip, and watch it, there's remembering where does he try the move again? Look at that right underneath, breaking, trying to cut in shallow, coming out of it. Oh, beautiful drive from the corner. Probably about equal performance by the uh, two of them. Brad, there is nothing between them. If uh, you think that Al Hoogie is getting away, Damo comes straight back. Oh, Al Hoogie's done a good defensive job there. He can hear that uh, fire blade in behind him. He will be under a lot of pressure, but this is why he's got the number one on the bike. He is the defending New Zealand Superbike champion into the Christchurch Casino. And uh, this one here. Heating up. Mitchell Rees doing a good job. Third place still. He's got that uh, uh, about a five bike length advantage back to Scotty Moyer. Uh, oh, it's uh, Jake Lewis up inside of Scotty Moyer now. So uh, there's been a change there. So uh, well done to Jake Lewis. He's riding well. But uh, the battle for the leads is one we're looking at here at the moment. It's the 92 all over the back of the number one. The Team Blue Crew Yamaha ahead of Team Rees Honda at the moment. Out of this Aeon uh, Dipper. And heading into the turn 10 sweeper, this is all on at the moment. These guys have been uh, never separated by more than a second. They've been uh, on lap record pace uh, with a 129.7. Still that fastest lap from Demon Damo, but uh, if he can get uh, some clear track, who knows what's going to happen. He's the closest he's ever been out of the sweeper. So a slipstream down the line into turn number one. Al Hoogie takes a tight defensive line. Keeping on this one. It's good defensive line for 
man who knows this track very well, Demon Damo, got no answer up the inside, but he's right there. There's less than two bike lengths in it as they fly down the Liquid Molly Strait. Uh, this is a brilliant part of the circuit. Nice flowing section, about second gear on a super bike, and then you go hard into the Icon corner. You've got to watch the curb on the apex. And uh, there we go, Al Hoogie's just uh, done a great job through there and uh, stretched that out to about a 10 bike length advantage now as they go into the left hander. And I tell you what, he was piling on the pressure uh, a lap ago. And look at how Al Hoogie's responded. He's just got the hammer down and uh, flying at the moment. So there we go for that one there. Al Hoogie and uh, Damon Rees. Uh, that's one and two. We go back to Mitchell Rees ahead of Jake Lewis. Uh, and then go back to Scotty Moyer and Sloan Frost. That's uh, that four-way fight for the podium. The podium's certainly not uh, decided yet. We've still got uh, five and a half, six laps to go. And our Avon City Motorcycles Superbike Race 2 for the weekend. All right, so uh, look at that. Richie didn't pull it back, but uh, what about uh, Lee Munro, Johnny Lewis showing the Ducati flag out there for the Italian Masters. What about the beautiful brand Aprilia uh, mixing it up there? Heath Boddick, a superb ride from Heath. And along with Aaron Scott, they're doing the best of those uh, Superbike B riders. They've got Dave Sharp in there, a campaigner for a few years, who's an awesome top end uh, Superbike rider. He's mixing with those boys. So they'll feel really cool about that transition. It's not, you're not literally on the track seeing a clear A and a clear B. The uh, tail of the uh, Superbikes A certainly coming with the front end of the Superbike. Bikes, bees. They're looking cool, so it's not really an A class or a B class. It's probably a poor name to use. We'll try and think of something better than Superbike B, but uh, there it is. A good mix of the From the Super Show out in front, it's all on with uh, Al Hoogie and uh, Damon Rees. Yeah, it's brilliant stuff. So uh, that time there, uh, the 131 2, so definitely a slow lap time from Damon Rees. So uh, I didn't pick it up, but something definitely happened. Maybe it was two seconds slower than the lap before. Uh, so uh, hopefully that bike's A-OK. -okay. He's certainly, certainly losing touch with uh, uh, Al Hoogie at the moment. So uh, a bit of drama. He's pulling up uh, down the uh, back end of the circuit. So uh, almost coming to a standstill into the Euromark left hand. So drama for Damon Rees. Definitely uh, uh, a lot slower that last lap around. And now uh, just struggling with that uh, bike at the moment. So that gives second place to our big brother Mitch. So uh, Al Hoogie's now got a comfortable lead in on this one. Mitchell Rees in here at second place ahead of uh, Jake Lewis. Uh, we've got Scotty Moyer and Sloan Frost. And that uh, team Rees. Honda is uh, definitely not on race pace, so a uh, big bit of drama, and I think he's uh, going to pull that off. Uh, unfortunate stuff for Damon Rees. He was challenging for the lead two laps ago, and now uh, just trying to limp that. So, uh, big drama here uh, with five laps to go. Al Hoogie, the defending Superbike champion, takes a big bit of breathing room. Uh, heading into the business end of this race here. 15 lap races, how cool is this? Uh, but that uh, four-way fight has now uh, got two positions in the podium up for grabs with these guys here. So uh, the stakes have been lifted, and it's still uh, Mitchell Rees ahead of Jake Lewis and Scotty Moyer then go back to Sloan Frost. So uh, Al Hoogie's running away with this one, uh, but the battle for the podium uh, still rages on. We've got four laps to go in our uh, race two for the weekend in our Avon City Motorcycle Superbike. Here's the potential, Brad. You could have the two podiums the placing so in fact it'll be these other guys that are fighting like back here with Mitch and Scott and Sloan and uh, Jake and uh, Dan they're the ones that'll be in contention for the overall points after the first two races so it's hero to zero stuff you're a hero winning a race and then unfortunately you don't uh, score in the next one so uh, wow there's some upsets on the card exactly we're only a four round series this year as well we were supposed to be five rounds last year so uh, only 12 races you can score points in uh, you really want to be scoring points in all of them so uh, drama in this championship uh, but we've got this one here with Al Hoogie at the moment Fantastic, and I want to hear a big local Canterbury cheer for this man, folks. The North Island has come down as an invasion to try and steal it from the locals. But I tell you what, when you've got people like uh, Jake Lewis and uh, Al Hoogie and uh, coincidentally both on uh, Yamaha, you certainly can see that uh, they're the locals and deserve the support. So we want to hear a lot of yelling. These guys out there will know your support, and particularly over that last lap. If you can get on your feet and give them some chants and cheers, uh, it's your motion that'll be able to excite them and bring them home for some glory. So great to see, and a real good fight back here from Al Hoogie. This is fantastic. Such despair yesterday. With Late in the race, but they, they look to be ironed out, and he's got it well and truly back on track. And let alone that, he's got a big margin out in front. This is winning of the highest caliber. Remembering, of course, this is the NZ number one after all. Had it by default because, of course, at the time of the TT, the word uh, COVID, well, I don't even know whether it appeared in our dictionary at that stage. So uh, there he was uh, then to go on. We were all thinking hey, we're coming back to do uh, other rounds at both Manfield and uh, Talpo. Uh, they never eventuated. <laughs> and uh, upsets that happened last year all to do with that famous disease but uh, more importantly Avon City Motorcycles the super white racing at the moment and Al Hoogie out in front the margin is 5.4 that's a significant margin that's not just a win that's a thrashing 
Yeah, he has uh, definitely been pushed along by Damon Rees in the early part of that motor. Hopefully Damo's bike's A-OK. -okay. The Team Rees boys only brought the two bikes with them for the uh, South Island leg, so uh, uh, just uh, fingers crossed we can get that uh, ironed out for the later on the Grand Prix. Damon Rees won the uh, New Zealand Grand Prix here last year, and uh, he'll be desperate to try and defend that title. He was looking class at the uh, business end of this race, but uh, now it's Al Hugh using the 120, uh, 131, so definitely he's off that pace. We've got a 15-lap race and uh, three laps to go, so uh, those tyres will be starting to go off. Very, very slippery out there at the moment. And uh, interesting to note, uh, that little train in behind for the podium. Uh, Scotty Moyer's on a different tyre set up this year, so he's uh, untested as to what uh, those tyres do late in a race. He seems to be doing a great job at the moment. Uh, he's just in there uh, in fourth place at the moment, but uh, right on the back wheel now of uh, Jake Lewis. So this one's on at the moment as we see Mitchell Rees uh, ahead of Jake Lewis, Scotty Moyer, and then Sloan Frost, the uh, veteran of the club the these days. Uh, he's a former... Uh, New Zealand Superbike champion there in fifth place and just uh, waiting to see what happens with these guys ahead of him. So uh, we'll cross the line. We've got uh, three laps to go. It's Alahugi uh, in control of this one here. And then we go back to Damon Rees, uh, Mitchell Rees, sorry, the older of the team Rees uh, racing Hondas. Uh, Damon mechanical. And then uh, we've got Jake Lewis, Scotty Moyer and Sloan Frost. Look at Scotty Moyer going to try and go up the inside of Jake Lewis. He's not going to quite be there. Breaking hard into turn one. Uh, and this one here is all on here. Jake Lewis doing a great job defensively, but uh, he's going to uh, be in a lot of trouble here. Two laps to go now in this one here, and it's uh, all on, but it's Al Hoogie well out in front. 5.2 seconds the advantage, uh, and he is uh, in cruise control. We've got Mitchell Reeves, Jake Lewis, Scotty Moyer go to Sloan Frost. Then go to Daniel Medham. Good job in sixth place. Jane Nassan up into seventh on the M1B. Brilliant stuff to have uh, Jane Nassan. He's also a former Superbike champion, and uh, cool to have him back on the racetrack here. Very talented uh, young man flying at the moment. Well, the year that he won the title was just so much for the underdog. He was just such a cool and laid-back uh, character, and he just realised that, hey, he was just sort of pushing life along a little bit too hard, and he took a bit of a break. He was out of the sport for a while, and now he's just come back in at the uh, lower end again and just starting to build up again. So take nothing away from him. Man, when he was a champion, he turned our fields upside down. We'd never seen a super kid come along like that in a long time. So as a young gun, certainly uh, turning heads in our sport and still out there doing it, thanks to M1 Motorsport on that BMW S1000RR. But uh, great work out there. It's that fight, Brad, that's going on for uh, uh, really that uh, second place. Any of those uh, four could get there. We know that uh, Mitch got a slight advantage. He's away with him just to uh, uh, take a bit of a break, but then the dabble's on for those others behind them. Maybe they're going to let uh, uh, Mitch alone because they're so, so much fighting it out for that third position. But there we go with the number one. It's the Al Hoogie Show here in Canterbury. Doing it so well. That's the 62. And then the battle's on again. And we still go to the uh, three of them to fight it out. Man, oh man, who wants it the most? That's what you've got to ask in this Avon City Motorcycles uh, Superbike battle. The battle on there between uh, Jake Lewis, Scott Moyer and Sloan Frost. Yeah, it's all our hoogie at the moment. He's out in front, but there's uh, lap traffic in front of these guys uh, in that freight train, so we're always... Uh a bit of an iffy moment when you come across a lapper on the last lap. White flags out, we've got one to go. Al Hoogie, he had the decent advantage last time around. And then you've got Mitchell Rees, he's sort of broken clear of that three-way fight. Chopper Frost has got himself right in the mix as well. So uh, check it out on the TSS Motorcycles uh, Suzuki uh, GSX-R1000. He's now in uh, well and truly contention with this podium. It's Jake Lewis, Scotty Moyer and Sloan Frost. Uh, one and two have sort of bolted, but these guys here are battling it out. Uh, at the moment, we've got uh, Dan Medham doing a good job there. Sixth place for him. But it's this one here, the battle for the minor money. Al Hoogie, he's into uh, the Southern Salvage guesses uh, for the final time in this 15-lap race. It's been an uh, epic encounter. We hope uh, Damon Rees is A-OK -okay to carry on with this weekend. Uh, had to pull him with bike troubles, so uh, that's a bit of drama as we had uh, Al with bike troubles yesterday. So our two uh, race winners looking like uh, they're going to be uh, sole point scoring in their race wins. Uh, this one here, Al Hoogie, uh, he's out of turn 10. Uh, Mitchell Rees is just in behind him, but the three-way fight is still with Jake Lewis, so a wonderful defensive job from Jake Lewis. Lewis. He's got uh, it all in uh, control out of the two team sweep. We've got the chicken flag out for Al Hoogie's going to win it. Mitchell Reese is going to cross the line for second. It's going to start with Jake Lewis ahead of Scotty Moyer and then go back to Sloan Frost. So no change, but uh, the kitchen sink and more was thrown at that uh, battle for the podium. Al Hoogie is going to win on the Blue Crew Yamaha. Mitchell Reese is going to get uh, second place. So back-to-back -back podiums for Mitchell Rees. He's doing a great job this weekend. And then go back to uh, the second of the Blue Crew Yamaha is Jake Lewis rounding at our podium. So uh, oh, frantic pace from these guys here. We'll keep an update as they cross the line. And we go uh, Al Hoogie. 
uh, he takes the uh, win. Uh, Mitri's Jake Lewis at the podium. Uh, go back to Scotty Moyer ahead of Sloan Frost. Daniel Medham gets through for sixth place ahead of Jaden Hassan in seventh. We've got David Hall and Jaden Carrick, eighth and ninth. And then Aaron Scott, our first of our Superbike Bs. Well, courtesy of uh, Yamaha Blue Crew 360 uh, Logistics, Local Centre Pirelli tyres, Jake Lewis, the Canterbury man, joins him. But, uh, man, oh, man, you had to work for that one, Jake. Yeah, certainly did. It was a bit harder than what I was hoping, to be honest. But, no, a really good race. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I uh, made a couple of silly mistakes, which put me back with those guys because Damon and Al were pretty close. So, a bit happy to be back on the box. It's great for Yamaha, obviously, both bikes um, up here. So, uh yeah, let's hope we can do the same again tomorrow. Oh, sorry, this afternoon. Um, and have to say happy birthday to my mum. She's over at the hairpin watching, so happy birthday. Oh, beautiful words, beautiful words, Jake. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. Well, here we go. Uh, we've had a different person on the first place each time, but on 40 points, this man holds the lead for the championship after two races. But uh, yesterday or Al today, Mitch, you're just not quite there. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a terrible start, so... Hey, uh, to be fair, I really enjoyed that race. It was good battling with Jake and um, Scotty and Dan and stuff. It was, it was wicked fun. Um, yeah, it just would be nice to be, you know, at the front to begin with instead of, you know, sort of had to make my way through. But uh, we've got race three for that, and I'm actually feeling pretty fresh, so I'm ready to go. Well, indeed, Doug, what about the circuit? What's our temperature like out there? Uh, at the moment, uh, I would have said it's pretty good as a riding temperature. Uh, real comfortable, pretty happy. So, um, yeah, it uh, be interesting to see how hot it gets this afternoon. Hopefully not too bad. Indeed, um, what uh, are the conditions out there, like wind and the track surface, everything pretty good for Ruapuna for this time of year? Oh, for sure, yeah, it's, um, we've definitely had it worse in the past, it seems pretty good today, the track's pretty clean, so 
um, yeah, the guys have done a good job here, and um, the whole crew of MNZ and the whole team at um, Ruapuna, it's bloody, bloody awesome. Well done, beautiful words. Thank you for that, uh, Mitch, as we take an opportunity. Well done. Where's the Al Hoogie Fan Club today? Indeed. All right, Al, the gremlins of yesterday have gone and you race today, but, uh, oh, you guys out there are immense. Uh, Damon put the pressure on whatever problems are. We'll find out uh, shortly. And you were sort of let off a little bit, but right at that point, you had to work hard. Yeah, uh, I knew it's, well, who knows what's going to happen off the line. There's sort of, a, I knew there was a group of six of us and then it sort of got to a group of two. I thought it's just going to be the demo and L show and then I just saw a point zero on my board the whole lap and then a massive gap. So we just kept on riding and obviously something happened to demo. So um, it it's swings and roundabouts. Yeah, there's, there's bad luck and good luck in the sport. So uh, it's nice to see put the number one bike on the number one spot and uh, just big thanks to Yamaha. We're sort of over yesterday and it's a new day today and hopefully we can carry on and claw back these points. Well you've got your MCI club mate and uh, Jake standing alongside you. This is awesome for the club because uh, the local's starting to come through at the time when it counts. Yeah for sure it's awesome to see Jake and yeah another Yamaha on the podium of course trying to keep the Hondas and Suzukis at bay and especially at our local track. Um, yeah it's pretty cool to see so we'll see what we can do in the, in the next race. There we go, Alistair Hoogenboozum, along with Mitch Rees and into uh, Jake Lewis. Three superstars of Superbike Racing, part of our package with Pirelli. You'll see three Pirelli caps. Power is nothing without control. The world's best tyre right here in New Zealand with Aon Insurance and our friends from Sky Sport. Bring it to you next, the world's best sport. 2021 New Zealand NZSBK. Bring it on.